quote. Somebody said, uh, whoever says it doesn't matter whether you win or lose, obviously never won. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you have or you don't have. The the chiddush uh, value chiddush hanacha is that when it comes to gashmias hen v'lav shoven. If you have, you have. If you don't have, you don't have. It's all the same. The meaning of that is that either way, there's an nesoyin. If you have, there's an nesoyin, and if you don't have, there's an nesoyin. Siddim used to say, the Ebesh that can help him with Asach, punkt wie mit Abyssal. The Ebesh that can help you even if you're rich. <laughs> even if you have, the Ebesh that can help. Why? Because if you have, then you become comfortable and you forget about the Ebesh and But the Ebesh that can handle that too. So either way is an Asayan. Not having is a Nesoyin in Betochen. Having is a Nesoyin in Amunah. So it should be the same to a Chosid, whichever Nesoyin the Ebrishter wants to give me, what's the difference to me? So Hen Velav Shavan. Hen Velav Shavan can also mean that when it comes to Gashmias, you're not very particular. You don't care. I don't care if I have or I don't have. If he wants me to have, I'll have. If not, not. So it's not the Nesoyin, but it's just the, the indifference, the freedom. I'm not, I'm not dependent. I'm not stuck on having money. And, you know, all the stuff money buys. <laughs> all the goodies. <clears throat> so, I take it, Grada, this, this Yantif, I asked this Balabos, a very nice Siddish Arid, but he's, he's a very big doctor, surgeon. So I asked him during Hakafas, how do you, how do you handle the two hats that you wear. Today you're sitting here davening, the, dancing, but you're a very important doctor. You got a very big career. It's not like you can show up or not show up. <laughs> How do you handle these two identities that you have? You? And in Pashtus, you know, without any, he said, It's only one hat. I don't wear two hats. It's one hat. Remember the Rebbe once said, somebody called the house. My Tzoy Shabbos with a, a problem. And the Rebbe some conveyed it to the Rebbe. And the Rebbe said, my eyes are, are bulging out of my head, making the transition from Shabbos to weekday. So I'm already having a very hard time with it. And he's asking me about money. Like, like it was very difficult to make that. Is that where you're not supposed to do business or take care of bills and lots of Shabbos? Is that where it came from? Or is there Maybe. something else? You ever heard of that? Yeah. You don't handle money, well, you don't touch money after, I don't know. <coughs> Could be it comes from there. <coughs> but you would think, to a tzaddik, to a rebbe, what's the difference, Shabbos, Chayil, same Ebershter, no? Why should it be such a painful readjustment? But obviously, if you take the Aveda seriously, the Aveda of Shabbos is so different from the Aveda of Chayil that you have to go through a whole uh, a whole rebirth.
but the I, the ideal is that we we take it, don't see it as two different things. There's hatzlacha in business, and there's hatzlacha in learning. There's hatzlacha in shlichus. Hatzlacha, and it's 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 the same thing. It shouldn't be two different w- lives or two different worlds. Here I'm a chosid and there I'm a businessman. That's that's not acceptable, and, and it's not healthy. Push it emotionally, mentally. It's not healthy. You go to work the same way you go to daven. Sometimes you're excited. Most of the time you're not. But you go because. Because that's what you're supposed to do. The dollar bill was laughing as it flew into the air. And it flew into the street and some people gathered there. Everyone was jumping up to get it in the hand. Everyone was jumping up in the promised land.